Wright are here to discuss today's top stories and lovely to see Morning. you both. Morning. 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 Massive sofa now. Bit, and it's an enormous sofa. <laughs> uh, there's Matthew, more room here there. than my local pub. <laughs> well, Matthew's actually in Hammersmith. Hello! Uh, but, uh, but nevertheless, you know, we're all getting together slowly but surely. We're here, yes. which is lovely. Um, first weekend of Freedom sees four million pints sold in a day. And that's just Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> For, and, and with the prices going up as well, there's an awful lot of money was going over the counter. And I think for once, for once, I didn't mind paying £6.90 a pint, which is what they were charging for the premium IPA in my local pub. Four million pints on Friday, six million on Saturday. Three billion pounds, I think, has gone over the tills to show things are getting mm. back to normal. Mm. And then you're going to say, yeah, but what about the risk of the virus? And, well, oh, I don't know. It was just nice to be normal. It was the sense so of nice. freedom. Oh, the sense sun of freedom. was out. Yeah. Yeah. It's absolutely. And actually, although I wasn't at the pub on Saturday, I was clearly down in Windsor for a funeral, it was quite nice to just see a major event again. Yeah. And to see yeah. quite... A, there weren't any crowds down there, but... It, there was a nice atmosphere afterwards in Windsor with people sitting outside, everyone being very respectful and in order. Uh, what do you expect? We've and been the sun, Rochelle, I, I couldn't agree sun. more that we were just saying, weren't we, Camilla, before we came on, if the funeral had been rained on, yeah. it would have been a very, very different, very different atmosphere. And, and when Camilla said earlier about that, that moment of reflection for the nation, yeah. it, I thought that absolutely crystallised that, that moment mm -hmm. at, at the funeral on Saturday, where we all, in the sunshine for a moment, and you yeah. think of the terrible yeah. things that have gone and maybe some hope looking forward for the We can't future. live in fear for the yeah. rest of our well, lives. You know, we've done we? that for this a long is my, time. This now. is my thing. We've been, yeah. we've been here for, a, for over a year now um, and we've tried very hard as a, as a programme to, uh, to, to look at the breaking news, um, make sure that it stands up, make sure it's yeah. not hysterical, make sure we don't knee-jerk react. And then you mm. look over the weekend and suddenly... Oh my God! There's an Indian variant. This is, mm. you know, this is something to be terrified about. And and for a weekend, you get anxious about the fact that there could be an Indian variant and how what it's going to do. And then you look at the news today and it says, actually, that's not a great cause for concern. Think, how dare you frighten me yeah. for another weekend? I know. Yeah. But also, Rochelle and I were saying earlier, the idea of a mutation sounds so sinister. It's such yeah. a kind of like alarming word. And actually, some mutations scale down the they potency do. of the virus. Equally, I interviewed Kate Bingham. Who led the vaccine task force, which managed to be so successful in our rollout. And she was saying, once you've got the initial vaccines, then actually tweaking them to variants isn't that complicated. We'll all end up being given booster shots. If we, if yeah. we all follow the rules, it will be better for everybody. But the trouble is, is that when the sun is out, that sense of pressure that we've been under, most, hand pressure is gone. Much mm -hmm. all of the people who are vulnerable have been vaccinated. What's yes. the point exactly. in the vaccine? Well, I suppose the, 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 the concern would be that through one of these variants, and I don't want to be the, the, the fear monger, but... Yeah. The, you that, are the, being. The, the, well, the catchphrase is, isn't it, is I'm not safe until everybody's safe. And by everybody, we don't mean everybody in England or Wales or Scotland or, or the United Kingdom, but on the whole planet. How, how, many, more people, how many people do... So, so if you keep people locked down again or you're scared well, of that variant, so you keep locked... How many people do... You you lose through mental health. Exactly. exactly. Because I, I, the numbers, I, I the numbers, share those the COVID concerns. numbers yeah. and everyone is a tragedy, those COVID numbers are coming down. Mental health, are uh, those those numbers are going up. Oh, yeah. For sure. More than poor, ever. Poor practice of, of deliberately breaking social distancing rules when you could avoid them. Is, is just needlessly inviting potential problems but down the line. That's not fear-mongering, it's just, like, when a jogger runs past you and they've got a whole park they could go round, that's a moment of, of needless interjections. But you don't need safety, that. We could, we could Matt, be better. on safety, this whole thing, we're not all safe until everyone's safe. Some people are relatively safe even though they're not vaccinated. Well We've got to remember, yeah. in that... In that awful, something that stuck to me, in that awful initial 100,000 death statistics, the number of people under 44 who had died was 997. Now, that's mm -hmm. 997 too many too people, many. Yep. but that is a, an absolutely infinitesimal number of people when you consider our population. Yeah. So, actually, I'm not vaccinated yet. I look forward to getting vaccinated by the summer. Um, as long as we're careful, the point about the this is protecting as long as the NHS, careful. though, Matt, that's it's not yeah. about no and COVID. We can't smart. have a no COVID we policy. We know now how this works. We know what we should be doing. We have been, I do think, quite obedient as a nation. Mm -hmm. we, you know, Very much so. But I just can't wait for the point where we also, don't have to Matthew, think. Yeah. Life, life isn't risk-free. No, 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 it's not. Um, this, is, this is this sort of torturous line that I, I've sort of trodden before, that those that say, essentially let it run its course, herd immunity, 
That's what they're actually suggesting, is you just let the strongest survive. And what is the point of having medicine, of having NHS, of having science, if we just allow the strongest to survive? But we've, but we've vaccinated the vulnerable. We yeah. have vaccinated the vulnerable, but again, the danger remains... And I, I don't want to be the fear monger. I want to be like you, Rochelle. I just don't want to think about it I anymore. Just... The danger remains that in the unvaccinated population, regardless of age, the unvaccinated population, regardless of location, anywhere on the planet, could be the source of a nasty variant. Now, oh, you're just... No, I know, you're just, but I'm you're just... the person that I, I shout at over the weekend. Oh, no, <laughs> yes. I, I don't want to be... Stop it. Stop being such the a panicker. And you drink, drink your okay. pint in the beer garden. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm kind of will fill on this. I think just chillax, all right? <laughs> you've, got, you've got the ponytail, right? <laughs> Live up to the hairstyle, just be cool. We're, I think we're quite right in saying the whole initial strategy was protect the vulnerable and therefore the NHS. What we're worried about, why we had lockdowns, is not because, oh, my God, this is going to spread like wildfire and everyone's going to die. Mm. It was the hospitals are going to be overrun yep. and staff won't be able to cope. Now staff, thankfully, can cope. Yep. The death and the infection rate has come down dramatically and more and more of us are going to continue to be vaccinated. All adults should be vaccinated by, I believe, the end of June. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. Let's get back to normal then. It seems ridiculous to have the same restrictions this summer as we had last summer when all Well, I think all, they are going to change, over, aren't they? Lo over, local uh, testing, we've seen with, with these variants that have come through, that local testing mm. th and the people within that locality seem to be very enthusiastic for it. That, I hope, is our way forward. I just think we need to learn to live with it rather than fear it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Absolutely. that's it. Because it's really pernicious to be in fear. And Can like I yeah, just uh, finish important. up on this point, see what you, see what you make of this? Um, women who wear too much makeup are seen by both sexes as less intelligent and more likely to have casual sex, what? researchers say. This is... This well, it's is, a bit about men wearing lots of makeup. I said in the meeting this it's morning... I said absolutely livid at this. My birds. Right, I said... Oh, it, I can't even believe that this research even... It goes on yeah. anymore. New findings were from academics from the University of New South Wales. You'd have thought they'd got something better to do. And published in the European Journal of Social Psychology, um, revealed that uh, uh, women with makeup were probably less bright and more likely to sleep I'm around. Just, I've just and, it's just and it's not so much it's not so much the fact that that you know that's what they've come up with. It's the fact that that was done in the first place. Yeah. Uh, uh, who conducts this research? It's uh, just uh, crazy. Misogynists. Um, <laughs> it could. It's it's along the lines of you know. Oh, she was wearing a short skirt, therefore she's yeah, asking completely. for it. I mean, and this is the other thing that annoys me, Rochelle. The idea that we only wear makeup for men. I know. How about we wear makeup because we like because wearing makeup we like for it. ourselves and for and other we feel women? Feel empowered, and I think we've yeah. come such a long way. At this sort of research. What about many think, makeup. Are you, are you... What, 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 what do people think? Do people think I'm dirty because I wear makeup? I mean, what right now? Yeah. Are you going to wear extra makeup I might wear with that ponytail? If, if you ask nicely. <laughs> Basically, yes. Um, it's just so... It's the so... ponytail has released the floodgates, hasn't it? Wait, hang on a minute. I've just... I thought... You've just noticed. <laughs> Wait, turn around. We need a This Morning poll. Oh, Can we have one today? That. Business the at the tail. front. Business Should... at the front. Party round the back. Can we have a poll today? <laughs> should it's this be a party, Matthew. <laughs> should it be cut off live on air? I think it should, shouldn't yeah. it? For a yeah. good cause, for a good cause, I'll do it for a good cause. Oh, listen, okay. I'll come up with one straight away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure how they're about, tweeting in. How about the Duke of Edinburgh Awards? What a good idea. <laughs> for the Duke of Edinburgh Awards, we cut it off. Uh, next week. <laughs> Is it next week? <laughs> no, I, it's yours to choose. There we you, go. But we've all sat here and watched the damn thing grow, so... Uh, with uh, that, you, this is the first time with I've a pair of gardening it. shears, yeah. just for the drama of it. I sleep with one eye open when Mrs. <laughs> White is out there with the scissors. Uh, uh, thank, thank you. you. Bless That's you. Stay well. Spinning lightning for many reasons. <laughs> <laughs> right.